Hello Swearback, and this time we have a Lenovo laptop to repair. Ryzen 5 and uh, Radeon graphics. Now, this uh, is coming from a computer business, and they are saying I have a Lenovo V15 G3. It's not powering on. When I turn on the caps lock, escape light, and... Uh, Number lock, light comes on, but no image on the screen or on HDMI output. So, uh, from what they are saying, the laptop is coming on with no picture. Let's plug a charger and see what it is doing. Here, we have a round pin charger. Round pin adapter. Plug in the charger. And it's taking like 110 milliamps. Probably does the pre-charge current. Yeah, 1.7 amps, so the laptop it is charging fine. Pressing the power button, and it's taking 2.6 amps. We have the light here, and caps lock is flashing. You see that? Now it's on. It's taking 2.9 amps. Basically, it's on all the time. And escape, it's on. Um, num lock. Hmm. Okay, this is a strange fault. Never seen this fault before. Because the lights are controlled by the by the AC chip. Does mean is something wrong with the AC chip or BIOS? Let me see if it's shutting down. Yeah, it is going off. Let's open the laptop and let's have a look inside. And the laptop, it's open. The BIOS battery is unplugged. We have a seal on the board, so no one took the board out. The BIOS battery unplugged is making no sense if you don't uh, unplug the big battery also. Plugging back the BIOS battery, the main battery, the charger, pressing the power button. Yeah, I can feel the CPU is getting warm. This thing is not right on the place. No, it's wrong fitted. Oh, it's not RAM memory. Okay. Uh, so basically the issue with this laptop is the RAM memory. Hmm. Let's plug a RAM memory. RAM memory is plugged. Pressing the power button and the laptop it is coming on. It's taking like 3 amps. And it's doing exactly the same thing. Check here. So what can be the problem on this case? How you will approach this kind of fault? Hmm? Let's check some voltages on the coils. So here we have 1.2. Here we have 0 0.7, and that can be right. On this coil we have 1.8. On this coil we have 1.8. Here we have 5 volts, 3.3, and this is the charging coil. I mean, everything seems to be fine on this one. The system is just frozen. You know what? 
if it will be like coming on in our picture, then can be a lot of things. But when I see these lights on, this one, this one, and this one, and actually doing nothing, it's not like they are off. They are on, doing nothing. And for me, this indicates um, a easy chip firmware error. Now, the easy chip um, memory is holded by the BIOS battery. So I will say, yeah, probably this is the BIOS chip. I will say, let's try another firmware on this BIOS chip. I, I know this is AMD. AMD, usually they don't have issue with the BIOS. But I want to check a different uh, different BIOS file here. So let me grab my programmer. Actually, let me see what bio. Let me see what voltage do we have on the BIOS chip. So on the BIOS chip we have 1.8. So uh, yeah, let's read the BIOS file and let's try to find another BIOS file and write another BIOS. Maybe we can fix it. You think actually it can be the keyboard? Hmm. I mean, I can do something like, yeah, actually let's disconnect the keyboard, pressing the power button. It will not surprise me actually because of the keyboard, the laptop is not coming on. And also the laptop uh, can have this kind of issue because it's something wrong with the SSD. So the SSD is unplugged, the keyboard is unplugged. Let's press the power button again. No, it's not working. You know what I want to do? I want to unplug this battery and use the power supply to see if, like, if it's any current change. Pressing the power button is taking like 700. Yeah, the current it is changing. That's the thing. I mean, I can see some flashes on the screen, and I'm not sure what they are. Let me plug the keyboard back. Keyboard is back. And yeah, we have the same, like the lights are on on the keyboard. Let me try something else. So plugging the charger and holding the CPU down, pressing the power button. Because the AMD it's well know having some CPU issues. You can see the screen is uh, uh, is the 3.3 which is getting activated. That's why you see like a polarization change on the screen. Yeah, 1.5 amps and that's all. So the laptop is trying to do something. It's not brain dead. He's trying to do something, but he can't do it. Good. For me, this is enough to move to, you know, uh, writing the BIOS. Give me one second. Okay, so we have the programmer here. Um, the Rebel Proc. Let's feed the clamp. So, pin number one here. Good. We need to identify the chip, 1.8 volts, good. And the chip, it's identified, yeah, 1.8 volts. Read the memory, let's save the customer BIOS. Maybe it's not a BIOS, we don't know. So reading, good. I mean, for me, this is looking weird. What is this? Huh? What is this? Okay, let's check with the buffer. Ah, uh, buffer fail. Okay, that's making sense. Okay, let me plug the charger. 
So we are gonna read the BIOS with the charger plugged in. So one more time, reading the BIOS. Good, very fine with the buffer. It's not working. Uh, I'm gonna user define. Let's try it with 1.9 volts. Yeah. Let's see if it's working like that. It's taking like 20 milliamps, which is a little. Good. Working, yeah. So if you have problems reading the BIOS, just up the voltage. Because it is possible if it's like 1.8, you lose some current and of course some voltage on the wires. So we raise the voltage to 1.8 and it's working. Great. The content for me still looks like rubbish. So I'm going to save the BIOS. We save the BIOS. Let me find another BIOS. Found the BIOS, yeah? Yeah, let's wait, let's wait. And verifying error. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, you know what? I try with different voltage. That's how I go to 2.2 volts. But on this point, I don't even want to verify the content. I will say, let's test it. Not sure why it's doing this. Why did I have to raise the voltage to 2.2 in order to be able to write the BIOS? Mm? Plug in the charger, pressing the power button. It is coming on. Ah, the lights are still on. Can't believe. So actually it's doing exactly the same like the original one. No, the light one's off. They are switching on and off. One point five amps. We didn't see one point five amps before. One point five amps. We have picture. That's crazy. So actually, it was a BIOS issue. Wow, I can't believe it was a bias issue. Hmm. What a job. You know what I will do? You know what I will do? I will go to our uh, Discord BIOS and I'm going to copy the file here. So you if you need this file, yeah. Just uh, you go on the search and search and uh, you're going to find this BIOS. G3 and yeah, it's ABBA model NM E551. Okay, so if you need this BIOS, you're gonna find this BIOS on, uh, on our Discord. All you have to do is to go and search for, uh, for the model and you'll find the BIOS. This is a good BIOS, yeah? We just tested it and it's working. Also, I will uh, I'll try to share it uh, on our forum. So now we need a battery. Let's plug the SSD. Do you think it will work without the RAM memory? I mean, probably it will work without the RAM memory because on the other side, most likely it is RAM on the board. So plug in the charger and pressing the power button. The laptop it is coming on. We just plug the BIOS battery, so we have to wait a little bit. It's doing the same thing. So that's normal for the lights to come on and goes off, you can see. Yeah, that's normal. About three amps because it's charging the battery and we have picture. You can believe that. Loading the windows. Yes, loading the windows. Ha! 
Working great, yeah, no RAM memory needed. Can't believe. Bias issue. AMD does the thing. AMD, AMD is very rare. You will find like a bias issue. Okay, I have to blur the name. Anyway, it's working fine. I'm happy I uh, I held uh, the customer. It was looking like a bias issue from the beginning, to be honest. But even if you have like, you know, just coming on with no picture, can be a bias. Small probability to be a bias, but can be a bias issue. Yeah. So I'm going to stop here. I will say thank you for watching. And don't forget, you have the file on our Discord. And you will find it also on our forum. See you on the next one. Bye. Hey. If you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.